Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're actually already on the road. Little story behind that, I'll get to it in a minute. Uh, we're today, we're pulling a bulldozer from Carson City to Kingman. I know we just dropped off the bulldozer in Carson City, apparently they want it moved again. So, as you can see, we are already on the road here. And the little story is, I have made some alterations to the graphics settings. And that caused OBS to have a bit of a panic attack and not have a clue what to do after that. And now the game looks really dull. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, hey, it's a... It's America. I can do this. There we go. The game looks really dull now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well... I know for next time. Oh, we're in a 70. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love you, America. So, I've turned off a couple of the graphics effects and uh, it maybe has made the game look a bit bad. <laughs> Oops. I'll remember that for next time. We are on our way to Kingman. What speed are we even going at the moment? 55. We've got plenty of speed to go yet. Let's just cruise it up here. Here we go. And unfortunately, because we're driving between Arizona and Nevada, or Nevada and Arizona, whichever one we're heading to, uh, we are going to be mainly going through deserts. Because that's what a lot of these states are like. The two state, well, a lot of these two states are like. I'm hoping to get some interesting rows at the very least. Um, we're getting up to good speed, and I believe we might hit an 80 at some point during this journey. This little hill is going to help us out to no end. So we're now in the highest gear we possibly can be, and we're going to enter cruise control very shortly. We're going, what, 67? 68? 68, even now. 69, and 70. Although cruise control has insisted 69, which is fine. Um, so... All we gotta do now is worry about steering and not screwing up. <laughs> Which is good, because they're the two things that I struggle with. Particularly the not screwing up bit. Um, so if you didn't notice how blind are you, my steering wheel is now bright pink. That's because uh, I've changed it as part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you didn't notice, the channel itself has turned a lot more pink than it usually is, and I know I've, I've had a few people asking me how did I do that. Um, I edited my picture. <laughs> I literally downloaded a breast cancer awareness ribbon and um, put it into Photoshop with the picture. Or put it into the picture with Photoshop. That's how I did it. Um, sorry if you want like that done for you. I ain't doing it. I don't. I don't have the time nor the want to be editing a whole bunch of pictures for people. It's just, no, no. Um, are we fully past that truck? Yes. Let's slide in here. We're making some good time, I think. I don't know how far we have to go, but we got 4.6 miles to the gallon. We got three-quarter tank of fuel. Lovely Kenworth right there. Do we have the lights on? We do not have the lights on. Let's turn our lights on. As it is... 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, never mind. Lights are off. Uh, oh, we got an 80. Which means we can turn off our cruise control. And never mind, because we're actually going to be coming into a town here, which means we need to be... I've managed to judge that to perfection. 
somehow. Because we're going exactly 30 miles an hour. Beautiful. This is going to be red, isn't it? Stop! Well, seeing as we've already broken the light, we may as well go the whole hog and just drive off. I think we'll use all the gears here just for uh, fuel efficiency's sake. Come on. Give me a higher speed than 30, please. Higher limit than 30. We got 30. We got 70. So, we're in 6th high. And... Now you guys get to see me doing my racing style shifts. Because every time the gear shifts, I am actually pressing the clutch. And when the number changes, see there it's a seven high. That was a full shift, including a clutch press. Um, so for those of you who think I, I you know, I'm very slow driving, I intentionally slow things down for this. Um, I do like going into the high gears though because I can do this. spend absolutely no time at all doing it. Um, it's a fun little thing, but it does have some issues with the gearbox. The game doesn't like me doing it. Although apparently switching from low to high gear does kind of trick the game into thinking the uh, gears are instant. Come on, hit 75 please. That little hill there didn't help. Come on, 75. Or 70, even. There we go. 69 miles an hour will do. Swap into this lane. Is that a way station, I see? It is, but we're not getting called in, which is lovely. Kind of forgot that's something I need to worry about. Is, um... Way station call-ups. Oh, 80. Beautiful! This truck is going to be revving quite highly at 80, but we can pull it up there, I think. We can get it up to 80. Come on. Come on, Kenny. We can do this. We are in a Kenra T680, by the way, and it is bright pink. Um, I do have it customized. It's got, I think, the biggest engine, and a full 18 speed, even fuller box. Oh, look at this guy in his Volvo showing off. He's, they think it's supposed to be a Volvo. <coughs> oh, I'm being overtaken by a van. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing right there. Looks to be 80-ish. 78, that'll do. Um... Could you... Could somebody please... Thank you for letting me in. Stuck in the hard shoulder for an inordinate amount of time there. An inordinate. There we go. Um, I do sometimes have trouble getting words out, and I apologize. I know some of you guys um, do have a bit of difficulty understanding me from time to time. Come on. <laughs> Oof, come on. 
Come on. If you're not gonna go, I'm gonna overtake you. Look, sir, look. You're being overtaken by a dang truck. Who's now cutting you off because he missed his turn off. Okay, exactly how many vehicles did I just take out? I took out the one in front of me. I took out myself. Uh, the guy that I cut off seemingly got away with it. But I do need to reverse here a bit. Just so that guy can get away again. Oh lord, a hill start. Just gonna crawl up the hill so they don't have to do a hill start. Come on, buddy. Come on. Most wonderful set of gear changes I've ever done. Hit every gear bar in the one that I wanted. Oh, we're actually speeding a bit. I just noticed. Here we go, 30 miles an hour. I'll repair the truck off camera after the video. Ooh, birdie. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's get a screenshot here. There's a few cars in the background, I think. Get into photo studio real quick. Uh, photo mode, please. Let's do our depth field of view nonsense. Focusing plane position can be right behind the truck there. Let's get down a bit. Beautiful. Let's tilt the camera just a small bit. Blur transition depth can be there. Blur strength can go down a bit. Saturation can go there. And there we go. Let's actually balance out the colors fully and see what happens. Because they are a bit imbalanced at the moment. There we go. Fun little fact, by the way. Oh, I can rev this thing. Yeah. Oh, I can override the uh, cruise control. That's actually something I didn't know I could do. Let's hop into this lane. Hang on, how are you passing me here, sir? The speed limit is 30, you should not be going faster than me. Let's slide in behind you here. So this is going to save fuel, because now what I'm doing is I'm slipstreaming him. You are in fact going faster than me, how? You absolute douche nugget. You can maybe hear me switching gears, because you might be able to hear the click of the gear shifter going into position. Here we go, 30 miles an hour. Or 29, that'll do. Uh, we are apparently in Vegas at the moment. Are we in Vegas? We are in Vegas. We're also on the curb. And we're about to blow through red light. Stop, truck. There we go. First gear selected. 
And I've apparently cocked the truck out. Nope. What I've done is I've accidentally turned off the area. There we go, 31 miles an hour, the cops won't catch me, and I can overtake this douchebag. Aha! Sucks to be you. Ah, whoops. We go, I need to turn right here. Excuse me, I'm gonna cut everybody off. Yeah, that was my fault, I'm sorry. I blew through a red despite the fact that I'm turning right. Sorry. I needed to do that. I can turn off the indicator now. And turn on my Ford awareness lights. So, uh, Ford 7000 man, if you're watching. Yes. <laughs> uh, what way am I turning up here? Am I continuing on this road? I am continuing on this road. Honk the horn a couple of times, let people know that I'm on the way through and I'm not stopping. Oh, that's an overpass. Never mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's yellow. This one won't be. There we go. First gear selected, let's just roll up a small bit, that'll do. And now we just need to wait for the lights to change. I do love traffic lights. Well, the racing start didn't exactly work, did it? He drove into me. That guy just straight out drove into a truck that was turning. Uh, you might need to get your eyes tested, sir. Going 30 miles an hour, route 93. Oh! We're in a 70. Joy of joys. Gearbox, don't fail me now. You see that the screen's kind of changing size because I'm trying to move my chair around a bit. Oh, we're now at an 80. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we are now kind of on the road out of Nevada and into Arizona. Comically, I actually left Las Vegas the, la the first time I left Nevada. Um, Las Vegas was the way out in Nevada the first time around. On the route that I took. I think I was heading to Kingman, actually. So, ooh, the truck is not happy with this. Come on, we're only going 45-ish. We can go faster than this truck, come on. You can do this. I forgot that I, you can't see my hands, I just slapped the steering wheel a couple of times. You can do this truck, I believe in you. I believe in your power of probably commons. Oh, I guess. Compels you. I think that was the Hoover Dam we just crossed. Potentially. Not entirely sure what we just crossed, in fact. Um, all I know is we're still not going 70, and I want to be. Well, in fact, 75 is the limit now. And there we go. 74 will do. We're obviously going on a bit of a slope downhill, because the truck is just wanting to go faster and faster. I can hear the brakes engaged. Up near 100% as well. Wow. This is, uh, quite the slope. I hope I don't need to stop suddenly, because this could cause problems. Well, that wasn't the brake. 
must be the brake pressure. Yeah, just a little tap on the brakes, presumably. Yeah, it wasn't the brake. That's the brake pressure, the one I was looking at. Um, quite a beautiful vista there. Off to the left. I am impressed. And, oh, wow, wow, wow. This game never ceases to amaze me with the vistas, and I'm only... I can only imagine what the rescale is going to bring. Um... <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna overtake you if you don't move along. You're not moving along, you're getting overtaken by a truck. And you. You I don't mind, you're another truck. Truck bro. Um, I've gotta put into this way station, which means this is gonna be fun. Where do I wanna start pulling up? Uh, here will do. Ooh, buggeration! The AI is pulling into the way stations now as well. I didn't know the AI got pulled into way stations. Um, is this a new thing? Because I've never. I've never seen that happen before. Is that a new thing that SCS put in recently, that the AI stops at the way stations? Because that was the first time I'd ever seen an AI vehicle in one. Never mind actually stopped in front of me, holding me up. I'm 55. Interesting. And now 35, which means I am actually speeding! Uh, let's go sixth high just to save revs here. Back down to 6 low, because we're now in a 25. 25 miles an hour on the... Cruise control. This is the downside of... Uh, Arizona is the city speed limits are ridiculously low. Don't make me honk my horns. They made me honk my horns. Come on, lights. I can see where I'm going, it's just up there to the left. But I can't get there because... red light. You ready, car beside me? Ooh, you were ready. There you go. Are you ready again, car beside me? That was a yellow light for us. Dang it. You're gonna get a green light first, aren't you? I may as well just shift it into neutral and wait. Uh, it is... what time? 6pm. Ah. Um, we're down to almost a half tank of fuel. Nice little line of traffic forming up behind us. Whoops. Sorry! 
Sorry. Whoops. So, sorry again. Yeah, man, truck. Where are we even going here? We're gonna have time to slow slow down the. Uh, We have time to slow down and turn the space I've allotted there. It's actually a significant portion of the road ahead that we're looking at. On our beautiful GPS. See? Like I said, we've got time to do what we need to do. So we're turning here. Excuse me, T900. Or W900 even. And in here. And where's our parking spot? Is that... No, it is not in our parking spot, okay. I was worried that the, uh... Forklift was actually in our parking spot there. Have I given myself enough room? I think I have. Uh, reverse one. Turned far enough. Ooh, we maybe turned too far. There we go. This should be. This should actually be good first time. No, never mind, I've hit something. I was gonna say this could, should be good first time around, but no, I hit something. This should be in. Should give me the green light. No, because I'm way too far to the left. Yeah, I was way too far to the left. The right as I'm looking at it now. Uh, this should be good. This should give us the green light. There we go, green light. And only some minor major damage. Lowering the trailer legs, there we go. Satisfactory, let's show the results now. Uh, we damaged the trailer 2.4%, probably when we had our various crashes. We got $14,000 and 671 experience. Almost a level 23, we'll probably hit that in the next video. So, I'm going to leave it here for today. It's been a bit of a long journey and a bit of a chaotic one. As always, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, do If you did, hit the like button. If you're new here and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It does mean a lot to me. Um, if you got anything to say at all, leave in the comments box below. In the comments section, box thing. But, uh... I'm going to leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching American Truck Simulator. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.